city really honor uh, one of the stalwarts of seed in Africa, Dr. Malaku Warede. Um, I would say a few things about him. Uh, I can spend a day talking about Dr. Malaku. One, he has a huge respect for farmers, and his respect for farmers didn't come uh, out of reading about them or listening about them. It came about a deeper knowledge. He is a foremost geneticist, and when he was doing his PhD, he came to Ethiopia and went to rural Ethiopia to really understand the diversity um, among single variety. And uh, he went to consult with farmers. And the farmers were having you know, a social occasion and they arrived there and they asked them and they said, oh, okay. And they called a small boy and they ordered the small boy to take Dr. Malaku to a farm. Dr. Malaku was not happy with that. You know, how can they send a small boy to uh, teach me about the diversity in seeds? But the small boy explained to him in some detail the varieties of the field. And he was surprised. He went back and had a conversation with the farmers. And he did that uh, regularly. Since then, he understands the knowledge of farmers. It's not only the knowledge of farmers he appreciates. He also appreciates conventional science, conventional breeding. He used to emphasize that always. Both the scientists and the farmers have to work together with respect. You know, they, because they, both knowledge are important. Um, so he advises conventional breeders to work with farmers so that they, they can create seeds which are enhanced. He always talks about seed enhancement. So this, this working, this him working with, with the two knowledge is one of the, the most important things. And he established the first gym bank in Africa. It was very much admired, and he filled those positions with Ethiopians. But it's not only with Ethiopians that he trained. He trained, I think, so many, so many Africans from all over the world. The gym bag was built by the, the funding from the German government. Uh, but it has become a training place for so many Africans and Asians also. So in that way, he can spread the knowledge of uh, Exit to farming um, in Africa and beyond Africa. And there is another way of conservation, as you know, in situ conservation. And he always says that seeds are better in the fields of the farms, not in the gym bags. And because of this reason, he, he started the process of spreading community seed bags. Community seed bags. Seed bags inside the community itself. So he was doing that uh, for so many years, and he was advising so many uh, institutions to attend that. He was also one of the founders of the Ethiopian uh, uh, civil society uh, organization who is working specifically on that. And finally, I started a, a, an NGO called, or a, an indigenous NGO, Malka Ethiopia. And he was there at the foundation, and he was elected as a board, and he led um, Malka Ethiopia uh, two rounds of the board election for about eight years. So we really appreciate him um, because he gave his knowledge. You know, internationally, he's also one of the people who have um, who, who was involved in the first ITPJ, you know, International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources. He was there also when it was first started and he led the African group for some time. So thank you very much for listening to him. So in order to celebrate him, I will ask you all to rise up and clap for about one minute.